In a similar vein, as part of its commitment to deliver on the target of Goal 6, which seeks to improve the standard in water and sanitation, the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals recently commissioned a comprehensive water scheme in Abaji, one of the area councils of the Federal Capital Territory. The comprehensive water scheme cited at the rural Abaji community is expected to serve 10 hard to reach communities, including Nuku Village, Naharati, and the proposed Abuja University of Technology, among others. The Abaji water supply project consists of an intake tower. The intake is located on the perennial river that comes all the way from uh, Nuku into Abaji. So we extract our raw water from this very river, and the water is being pumped straight to the treatment plant. Our treatment plant capacity is 5,000 meter cubes per day, which translates to about 210 meter cubes per hour, or 2,100 liters per hour. In terms of uh, distribution, we have a water kiosk built around the communities where they could come and fetch water, treated water. Then, when residents that can afford water connections to their various houses, we also have it in plan to connect to their houses. Then all the uh, breakaway tanks or overhead tanks built within the city for the borehole points, we are partnering with the area council to repair those tanks so that they can also serve the community. We are going to connect them to the distribution line where they will be connected to the distribution line and the citizens also can come and fetch water from those places. The project is the product of a strategic partnership between the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, the Federal Capital Territory and Abaji Area Council and has the capacity to deliver 5,000 cubic litres of water to over 100,000 people a day. Yeah, it is worth to mention before now the water supply in Abaji town and environment is very epileptic. Based on boreholes and boreholes are breaking down on and off. So it's good for the government to, to be sure that uh, they, have, they have brought this project here. And it's going to improve their life standard, their water supply. And it's going to reduce tremendously even the waterborne diseases. It's going to impact very well on the citizens of this city. So it's an important project and government has spent a lot of money. This treatment plant that we are com will be commissioned today is to mitigate one of the challenges posed by inadequate infrastructure, particularly in our satellite grounds. Therefore, our gathering here is a testimony to the FCT administration's commitment to improving the welfare and quality of life of our people According to Princess Adejoke Urilokwe Adefulire, the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, the laudable project is a product of many years of intense activity, hard work and determination. The project commenced under the 2009 MDG's intervention, but could not be completed due to paucity of funds. But the presidential advisor says she took up what then appeared to be an abandoned project when her attention was drawn to it in line with President Muhammad Buhari's ideology of continuity in government. This laudable project was we're about to commission today commenced under the 2009 MDG interventions but could not be completed due to paucity of funds. And as part of our commitment to realization and achievement of SDGs in Nigeria. We have to revisit the project. This project is aimed at providing portable water in about the community and nine other neighboring communities, including Nuku Village, Nahar, Rati, and proposed Abuja University of Technology. So I'm highly indebted that we're able to resuscitate this project and bring it to future. Congratulations to our community. Congratulations to the Honorable Minister and Honorable Minister of State. 
and congratulations to all the people of the community and those people that will attend the university that will be beneficiary to this water program. The presidential aid further assured of the continuous commitment of government to deliver on poor pro projects and programs in its bid to improve the living standard of the people. In her remarks, the Minister of State, FCT, Dr. Ramatu Tijani Aliu, stated that the project will help address the seemingly intractable problem of water scarcity among the people of Abaji and its environments. It is about 10 years today since our predecessors gathered here to lay the foundation block of this great enviable project. Under the MDG then, and was abandoned. But then our indefatigable sister, the present senior special assistant to the president on SDG, found it worthy after seeing it on the news and just in line with Mr. President's uh, mandate to fulfill all righteousness to revisit the project and it was revived. In conjunction with the Federal Capital Territory administration. I wish to thank all stakeholders and partners who have contributed to the success of Abadi Water Treatment Plant, the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDG, Sustainable Development Goal, Economic Planning, Research and Statistics General Manager, also of the Water Board. The Office of the Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goal have immensely played a very, 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 very vital role in what makes what we are witnessing today. Ma, today as an area council, we are very, very happy to see you in our knees, to witness what you have tirelessly, selflessly committed yourself in order to make the people of Abaji Area Council happy. We sincerely thank you, ma'am. In the name of God Almighty, but also gratitude to him. All the people of Abadi for ensuring that the treatment plant is not vandalized. With every hope that you shall keep to your words to ensure that it remains intact to continue to serve the purpose with which it is made. In appreciating also my sister, the SSA to the president of the SDG, for ensuring that this is coming to fruition today and the Permanent Secretary of the Federal Capital Territory Administration for being a partner of the law with this business and ensuring that the people of this community, Naharati, the University and the entire Maji and Empires cry no more of water. In the name of God Almighty, Bismillah Rahman. No doubt, the project has brought smiles to the faces of residents of the benefiting communities and they are full of gratitude to the government of President Muhammadu Buhari. Actually, we have been in problem of water in this village for decades of years. They have sat many boreholes that we don't, we don't see water in them. But at least this one now, we are okay with it because it's been drawn from Abaji directly to this place. So we need more boreholes if we, they can sack more boreholes for us so that we have sufficient water. By the time one or two days, this one did not supply water, at least we are in, in great problem. Because in our streams, we don't have water. So we are urging the government to come and do more for us. And we thank God for what they have done for us. May God bless them. We are buying in water of drum, 300 naira each drum. But now, as they don't produce one, we will not buy again. Because we enjoy the water. Thank you. God will bless you now. And God will give you power. Mona, still bring another one again. Who passed this one?